All right, what's good with y'all boys? We're here, as I promised, set up video, you know what I'm saying? We got the $5,000 game set up. Clickbait as hell, but you know what I'm saying? We gotta get our views. Anyways, bruh, we got this entire setup here. I've been working on this setup for probably like a year now. It's been evolving. I've taken, you know, different videos, different tables, different monitors, TVs, consoles, and I put it together. You know, I got some new lighting systems. Anyways, the past two months, I've upgraded it like crazy. As I mentioned, bruh, I got the new mic. I got the new camera. It's not there because it's right there. Um, Anyways, bro, we got a ton of new equipment. I want to go over it because I spent two months on this setup. Weeks and weeks and weeks of just getting packages back and forth. It's been actual hell, but it's done. So here we are. Now, first thing I'm going to say before I go over anything in this video, I'm not about to put 45 links in my description for any items. If you do want any of these items and you can't find it on your own, comment down below. I'll find the link and reply to you. All right. So if you want an item, just comment. I'll get you with the link. Anyways, um, there's no camera, so one thing for this because the camera's being used right now. I'm gonna roll a clip I took earlier of the camera right now. All right, so for those wondering what my camera is, my camera is a G7X Mark III, not the Mark II. All the LA YouTubers over the past 10 years have had the G7X Mark II. This is the Mark III. The Mark III comes with an auxiliary plug here, which is why I wanted it, because I'm able to actually attach a microphone to it. So that is a G7X Mark III, and it also can be used with the Elgato Cam Link, meaning that it can be used as a face cam on OBS. So that is primarily why I wanted this mic. You get a microphone for vlogging. It comes with the flip screen right here, and it can also be used as a face cam so to pretty much show you the rig that's the camera already i told you the g7x mark iii what's attached to it is a boya microphone i'll show you right here this is the boya microphone i um i actually watched a youtube video which i'll link in the description of a guy i think it was think media who showed off an amazon bundle you can buy with this mic and it also comes with the dead cat wind muff and an actual microphone muff like this one inside of it so it all comes together the mic and the muff you can get it for like roughly, I think, between $30 or $50. I'm not sure. But that is the microphone. And then for that also to be attached on the bottom is a little bracket right here. This is the bracket right here, Vlog L bracket. It attaches to the bottom of the camera, which is also on that YouTube video I linked. This is the bottom bracket right here. That allows you to attach the microphone. I have it standing while it's plugged in. First things first, GTR racing, gaming chair. I have divorced parents, I got two setups, one at each house, I gotta say, I've had a DX Racer and a GTR Racer, and I thought the DX Racer would be better, this is better than a DX Racer, I'm gonna say it right now, $250, the DX Racer was $350, this thing got more space, it's wider, it's leather, it's comfier, you know what I'm saying, when I'm waiting for the boys outside the wreck, I'm gonna be cooling it, you be leaned up waiting for your boy at the wreck, I'm on my phone, just chilling, relaxing, we're not the same, you feel me, GTR Racing Chair, honestly, my favorite chair I could find. It fits great. It's wide. The DX Racer is literally this wide, whereas this one's it's just got mad room. You could sit there and do backflips in this thing. It's got mad space. Anyways, bro, first things first, let's just start off. I got an Xbox. You either got an Xbox or a PlayStation. Not a big deal. But monitor right here, we got a 24-inch Asus gaming monitor. This is one millisecond. Um, latency, 75 hertz, 1080p. The pretty much cheapest standard 1080p monitor you can get for gaming, for recording. It costs me a little under $200. You can probably get it for like $175 from Best Buy, $180. Um, outside of that, I got this laptop right here. Anyways, bro, this laptop is the HP ZBook G6. I got it from school. It is part of my tuition, so um, I would probably recommend a different laptop, but this one gets the job done. Anyways, HP ZBook G6. Nothing special for gaming, recording, or editing, but it gets the job done. I got Premiere on there, Streamlabs. I streamed through my laptop completely. Anyways, let's pretty much go over the streaming right now. Um, my microphone right here, we have an AT2020. Um, if you want to get a budget microphone to start off, a snowball is perfectly fine. Um, there's nothing really insane about, you know, the difference between a snowball and AT2020, but this one's got better quality and I've had the time to upgrade, but anyways, we got an arm right here. So for my camera and my microphone, I have an arm extending from behind my monitor. So right here, a little swivel, you can screw the camera onto above the monitor. And then I have the arm right here for the microphone. So we got an arm for each of those. Both of those stand on top of the monitor. So you can see me and hear me very well when I'm sitting down. The mic's right there, the camera's right there. And then we have a ring light here. Ring light costed roughly about $50, I would say. Wasn't anything expensive. I know you can get ring lights for anywhere between 20 to 100, middle of the pack. I don't really have space for a stand-up one this tall, so I just sit on the corner of the table. And speaking of which, this table right here, go to table, and it only costs $88. A simple L-desk you can get, cheaper than you could probably get, an actual table, bro, no cap. 
This table's clean, it's lightweight. You got mad room underneath. The only thing I would say is a downgrade about this table is that because it is kind of thin, you could probably move this thing a little bit if you bump into it. But realistically, it's got mad room. I only use one monitor. I don't think you need two monitors unless you're streaming big time and you want one for the entire game you're playing on PC or the chat. But um, yeah, we got a one monitor set up with a light, a camera, and a microphone. And yeah, I mean, nothing crazy here. But uh, yeah, we got an Elgato HD60. I'll probably pop it up on screen now. I have an HD60. So what happens with that is the Xbox right here. And normally an HDMI would go straight to your TV or your monitor. But it's going to go to the Elgato. And then that's going to feed into the monitor. But a wire comes out of it and goes to my laptop. So the Elgato HD60, it costs roughly $100. That's going to get all your footage to your computer. And then I have another Elgato. It's an Elgato Cam Link. I have it behind my laptop. Very small piece of equipment. Another $100 pain. Um... It's another piece that takes footage and runs it to your computer the same way your Elgato takes your Xbox gameplay or PlayStation gameplay and puts it to your computer. I plug the cam link, the Elgato cam link, into my camera and that runs to my computer as a face cam. So two Elgatos, one for gaming, one for your camera. Those both go in here. I have a USB strip for all the things that plug into my laptop because let's be real here. Doing an entire gaming setup with just a laptop. The laptop only has like two to three USB ports and I need one for the mic, each Elgato, um, power source for the camera. It's just a lot of things going on here. But um, let's get into the extra parts of the setup. All right, so for the little extras, I would say first things first, um, over Christmas vacation, I did get these foam pads in the walls. The foam pads are nothing special. They're very flimsy pads, but they're thick enough to where sound won't just like hit the wall and echo around the room. It'll bounce off them in different directions. I got 12 white and 12 black, so pretty much a 24 pack of foam pads for the corner here. They weren't that expensive. Uh, it was like $50 and that might sound expensive, but when you think about it, it's like $2 per pad. It's not anything crazy right there. So $50 for a set of pads for the wall so that the sound is a lot crisper and thinner. Um, next thing I'm going to say real quick, just for a headset, for those wondering, these are Astro A10s, nothing special. I'm, I've been for the past four years, the type of kid to just use the regular bonehead Xbox headset. It's literally a stick running around my head and a mouthpiece. Headset doesn't really matter much. I got some Beat Studios when I'm on Discord. Nothing crazy there. Just some regular standard headphones. Um, I use Control Freaks when I game. Y'all probably don't know this, but probably the only Dribble God in history that uses Control Freaks. I'm just like that. I'm cut from a different cloth. You know, you're not like me. But um, and I got this painting here. I know this has nothing to do with gaming, but if you don't have any aesthetics to your setup, bruh, you're doing it wrong. I got a bonsai tree down here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta actually establish the vibe in your setup for when you're recording, because you're gonna spend most of your time in here. Anyways, bruh, so this painting right here, this bonsai tree, this little mini guitar, just little props I like, you know, to establish the vibe. So this right here, this is a little prop guitar I got for like $24 from Reverb, nothing crazy. This plastic bonsai tree you could probably get literally anywhere in the planet. It's not anything crazy, it cost me $5. It's plastic. And then this painting right here, I got on Instagram from Illus View, Illus View on Instagram. I should probably tag them below. Their paintings are absolutely like insane. Like they're actually nuts, but they cost like 90 to hundred dollars. I'd love to get more, but I just can't. But this thing, I seen it and there was no chance I wasn't going to cop this thing. This thing is crazy. I love it so much. All right. So for lighting in the corner, obviously I already went over the, um, the ring light, but I also have LED lighting and RGB lighting. As you can see under my desk is absolutely disgusting. Oh, he needs some milk. What the hell? I'll show you this, but I'm not good at wire management. At least I haven't really figured out how to like strap them onto the table and you know what I need to get to really contain them. Um, so my wires are a mess. But as you can see, I really all I did was get two LED light strips and get them right here. These monster LED light strips. This is an extra box I have. Nothing crazy. Anyways, bro. Two LED wires taped behind the table. You don't really need to see them, but it's just two wires going across the wall of uh, LED light strips. And I got a light bulb that came with it, so I put it in this lamp. And then another thing, which I don't have on right now because I don't want it to interfere with the camera. If you want to back up real quick, Lou, um, an Astro projector. So when I'm streaming, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get a lot of face cam videos out of me. You won't see this in the background right here. This is an Astro projector, a star projector. You can get this for roughly $50, and you can get it in different colors. You can get it in green or blue, I saw. Um, I want one that changes colors. I've seen Duke Dennis made a video like three different videos in three days and it was red, green, and blue. I think he has one that changes colors. I gotta step my game up because this in red would look crazy, bro. I'm gonna lie. This in red and green looks nuts. So this one actually does just 
blue, it doesn't change colors, it can change animations. You can see it's wavy, it can have the little stars, little, little small stars. You can do whatever. We got for the lighting, we got a lamp right here, so a light bulb, two LED strips around the desk, and a star projector. I know what y'all are thinking, all these lights in here, why aren't your eyes killing you? I get headaches a lot, yeah, I know, blah, 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 blah. I got these glasses right here, no, I'm not prescribed, no, I'm not sponsored, but I bought these blue light lens glasses, you can get these for like $10, $20, and they reduce eye strain and headaches for people to game a lot, and for someone that sits six hours editing, six hours gaming, couple hours streaming, spend my time in front of electronics, there's lights around the room, TVs, I got two TVs and two Xboxes in my room, lights all over the place, I'm looking at a ring light so y'all can see good quality, there's a lot of lights in my face, so I am vulnerable to headaches and eye strain, I do get headaches a lot, it's probably because of this, but the glasses help, you might see me wearing the glasses much on stream. I'm not wearing them a lot now because it's like my first week being face revealed. I don't want you guys to get the image of me with glasses because I don't wear them a lot. They're new, but they help with eye strain. If anyone's looking for those glasses, like I said, I'll link you whatever you want. But it's very cheap, $10, $20. And if you're getting a lot of headaches, cop the glasses, it helps. It's, it's nothing crazy, bro. The last thing I want to say about my setup before I move on to the little things around my room for aesthetics and stuff. Um, I have a gigabit switch. You won't be able to see it good because it's tucked in here, but a gigabit switch, essentially, it's just a splitter for a wire. Gigabit switch is for ethernets. So obviously me streaming with a laptop, you know, most people stream with hardcore PCs or graphics cards so they get good bit rate. I have really good internet, but as is, streaming with a laptop is very difficult. Plus my router is on the other side of the house. So I have an ethernet cord that runs through the entire attic of my house and comes in here, but that was always for my Xbox. Now I need one for my computer because I want to stream all the time. If you're doing this, you know what I'm saying, you want to stream, I recommend getting another ethernet for your laptop. Now for someone like me, I can't just run two ethernets through the attic. It was a mess to get one through there. I couldn't get another. So I got a gigabit switch. The ethernet that comes through, if you want to show them the ceiling up there, you might not see it because it might be hard to focus because of the light. It'll be very difficult, but there is an ethernet um, going all the way across the top of my room through the attic. Awesome. It comes all the way down here. So that one ethernet that goes all the way through that used to go to my Xbox once I wanted to start streaming consistently with good quality, that one ethernet's gonna go in here and now I have two that come out. So one goes to the Xbox and one goes to the um, the laptop. So now you wonder why there's a mess of white wires and yellow wires down there because the ethernets are like 10 to 50 feet long and all I need is it to go from that to that and that to that. So that's why there's a mess of wires down there. But yeah, gigabit switch, you can get it for literally 10 to $20 and ethernet cables are not anything expensive, they're just simple wires. So for less than $30, if you want to stream consistently with a PC or a laptop, getting a gigabit switch and putting the ethernet into both, you know, one goes into the switch and one goes out to the Xbox and another to the laptop. It's gonna help your stream quality a lot. You'll be able to handle way better, you know, way more demanding stream quality, like 1080p streams, you know, 60 frames per second. Even if you want to do 720, 60, I would still recommend getting a gigabit switch. All right, so pretty much that's it for the video. The setup is a little intense. Obviously, this is not a starter setup. I've been doing this for a solid year and a half. When I first started, for anyone that's wondering how I can like replicate this very simply, the very first thing I had was a simple table like that. It actually was that table right there. That table, I would have a little TV on it, so you don't need a monitor. Monitors are really not that necessary. It's good for me. You want something small, a small 20 to 24 inch TV is good. You get a little TV, your gaming console, which I assume you already have, a laptop, put that on the table, and that's the first base set of things you need. Next, all you get is an Elgato and a mic, and you're all set to go. So, assuming you already have an Xbox and a TV and a computer, the first things you really need to get is just a mic, which you can get a Snowball for $50, I recommend, and an Elgato for $100. So if you make a $150 investment, Maybe the gigabit switch too, so you have better speeds. $170 investment. You can be streaming for a whole year and making videos for a whole year, just like I did last year. I was editing my videos on my phone, but I really just had my laptop and my mic and my TV and my console. That was all I had in my Elgato to record. So that's pretty much the simple thing you need, but this is the setup we've gone from a whole year. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been supporting me for a whole year. So we went from this to this right here, this entire setup. Over the past two months, it's probably evolved the most, but it's been a good process for an entire year now. So anyways, bro, that's it for the video. If you made it this far, comment something down below, tell me you made it this far, I don't know, I don't really care. But let me know, because I appreciate the support, and uh, 
If you want any item in here, like I said, comment down below, ask me for the link. You know, I'm not about to put 30 links in my description, but if you want anything, you know what I'm saying? I can't find this gigabit switch, this astral projector, these glasses, bonsai tree, guitar label, um, anything, comment down below, I'll get you the link. But anyways, bro, that's it for the video. I don't think I'm doing a day in the life, but next time you see me, I should be doing uh, some Zoom calls. So, y'all gonna see me soon. Anyways, bro, it's been Matt, Brady, you know what I'm saying? I almost just said Matt's Donut Store. Never done IRL before. I'm literally re- I'm gonna catch y'all boys later. Peace out, boys. Chasing shorty now because you ran off of my fours. I woke up, Chris Breezy, finna dirty mighty yours. Spanish it bitches all up on me, all I hear is his door. If you was in my spot, you would've never wanted more. Hey, Brody wanna up the score, tryna make a play. I put his ass up in a box like he moving city state. Told him drop the scholarships, he said, Matt, you the craziest. I said, fucking normal life, I'm tryna be my rage.